Hello and welcome to another Skyrim Mod Showcase. I've been asked to overhaul Alchemy by a subscriber and that's exactly what I intend to do. I've always found Alchemy to be pretty unapproachable and as such rarely bother doing more than just randomly spamming ingredients into potions for levels. It's quite unsatisfying for an element of the game which could be an entire playstyle and I wish to focus on a few key aspects. Ingredients, access to Alchemy, usefulness and just quality of life. But with that being said, let's begin. To start with, I want to add more ingredients to the world. I've already harped on about real wildlife enough times that hopefully you already have this, so I want to talk about Technicolor Alchemy Overhaul. This mod comes in at 28.3 megabytes, which I class as very little for what it does. First and foremost, this adds in 80 different plants, bushes, shrubs and flowers to 3,500 hand-selected locations throughout Skyrim. These all come from or are based on plants from Morrowind, so they really do fit into the game. Each of these have been added to the ingredients and recipes list and painstakingly balanced and rebalanced to fit the game in a fair manner. One of the reasons I love this mod so much is how it fits so many categories for a mod. It adds flora to the world, ingredients and potions, it adds colour and vibrancy and it adds variations to what I have seen so many times. This mod is massively worth a try and I highly recommend it. Just be aware, it may locationally conflict with any new environment modded in causing clipping. Fortunately, this is still being worked on as it's fairly new to Xbox, so hopefully these will be ironed out. Although, I haven't come across anything like this yet. Next up, I want to talk about accessibility. Originally, I planned on putting a player home here, but it didn't solve the issue I've always had with alchemy, which is, why do I have to do this at a table? Sure, it makes some sense, but a pestle and mortar would achieve the same thing in so many instances. Hence the mod, Portable Alchemy. This mod adds in pestles and mortars randomly to NPCs, merchants, loot, and they are craftable, and once you've found or made yours, you're good to go. Enter your inventory and select the items and you'll be making potions out there in the wild. This is a really nice touch in my opinion, however, it could be more immersive. I'd love to have to clean this down by a lake or need a fire for certain potions, maybe certain recipes are all that works with it. However, for 208.3 kilobytes, it's a pretty good deal you're getting right here. I'm not a fan of trudging my way ingredients in hand to the table and I love being able to manage my inventory this well on the fly, especially with all the new ingredients added in where curiosity just strikes constantly. In case anyone was wondering, yes, you can be attacked whilst in this menu. The next mod on my list is a real quality of life beast for both alchemy and enchanting. It's known as the Mystic Condenser. What this mod does is it adds a table to each town in the court wizard's area of the Jarl's home. They're also available in the main faction headquarters after a little bit of searching. These tables will allow you to combine potions and poisons to a stronger level. The example stated on the page is three health potions which would heal 50 each, combining to be two health potions at 75 health each. Essentially, there's no quality loss involved as it upgrades one stage this also alleviates the OP issue. The mod is fully nav meshed, allowing court wizards and followers to use the table. It even comes with its own little animation, which I think is a really nice touch. And you get all of this usefulness for a very tiny 545.9 kilobytes. This mod pairs extremely well with Portable Alchemy for a few reasons. The first being you can now condense all of those potions you've made on the road, and the second is how it reigns in Portable Alchemy, allowing for the alchemy tables to still be more effective than what you can do out there in the wild. Finally, we have RJ's Tweaks for Alchemy. This mod is actually performing the majority of the overhaul by drowning out the power of the previous mods, bringing them back under control. This mod performs many tasks too, Firstly, potions now heal over time instead of in one hit. I like how that feels more immersive, like the body is physically healing. It also works really well considering how we can now make potions wherever we like. Cooking now also increases your alchemy skill. I know cooking and chemistry are very different things, but considering how half the ingredients for both potions and food is found during hunts, I really like this. Also, it feels like you're following a recipe and instructions, so I can somewhat make sense of this, and as leveling alchemy can be extremely tedious, this is really helpful. This mod also adds more ingredients to your harvest, which feels more realistic overall. Beehives don't produce one cone, I physically see more than one snowberry on the bush and many more instances of silly harvesting that have occurred. This mod comes in at a mere 32.9 kilobytes as well, which is fantastic for the sheer amount of change on offer. And now for some suggestions. First up we have Poison Arrow Crafting. This mod does exactly what it states. No longer do you have to apply poison a shot at a time, you can now take a stack of arrows to the alchemy table and apply your poison to the bunch. 
We also have Radiant Unique Potions and Poisons, which make sure no two vials will look the same. Really strong boost to an alchemist immersion, for sure. I'm also a fan of smithing oils, which is actually a blacksmith's answer to enchanting and alchemy, which adds in new oils, powders and more that can be used during smithing or applied to armors and blades for some awesome additional effects. Finally, I suggest increasing the potency of poison effects. Remember, any mod like this will also make your game much harder, especially against larger insects and Falma, but that's all part of the fun. This is actually going to do it for me now. Hopefully I've answered the question how to overhaul alchemy. If this has helped, I do always appreciate likes and of course subscriptions. If you have an overhaul you'd like to see done, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will do my best to get around to it. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.